Now, just a few days ago, I showed you a great easy way to make basil pesto at home. And let's put together a dish and have some fun with it. All the ingredients are linked down below and it's going to be really easy and super delicious. That's the great thing that I like about Italian cooking. It's just simple flavors that just work so well together. Now, I have my chicken breast here, which I have kind of flattened um, and tenderized and cut in and half. That's just one chicken breast. And we're going to make a quick marinade first. So I had some garlic oil already on hand. I'm going to use that. But if you don't have that on hand, use olive oil and a couple of cloves of garlic, smashed or finely chopped. Then add some lemon juice and oregano. Now I'm using dried oregano. And as I said, I think for my Argentinian hot dog recipe or something related to it, I didn't get that on purpose. I quite by mistake, but I have to use it. Then some chili flakes, salt and pepper and give it all a good whisk. Before adding in your chicken and now just let that set for at least 20 minutes. Now I like to take the chicken out at least 15 minutes before I'm going to start to cook. And while that's happening, let's boil our water. Make sure to season it before you add the pasta and then cook it until al dente so that when you eat the pasta, some of it does stick a bit to the tooth. It shouldn't be completely soft. Then for my chicken here, I've oiled up my grill pan, medium heat, and I'll just place the chicken in there and then just let that sit and cook. The chicken will tell you when it's ready to be flipped, because when you try to flip it, it will just release easily from the pan. Don't force it, otherwise you won't get the like sear, you won't get the nice cook, you won't get the right amount of juiciness either. Here. Oh, lizard here. Now, the moment that I flip it, I like to lower the heat to finish cooking without burning the chicken. Let's set that aside. In the meanwhile, my pasta is done, and my clip where I added the peas got lost. So, the peas are in there, and I've mixed it and then put a couple of tablespoons of pesto. Honestly, I can't tell you how much because some of you may like more pesto, some of you may like lesser pesto. Just add a spoonful mix it, taste it, and really adjust to really match what you are looking for. And now it is as simple as plating it, slicing your chicken, placing it on there, and really just enjoying the deliciousness that you've just put together. It's really that simple, and I really want you to enjoy the simple basil pesto with this grilled chicken pasta. There's other recipes as well, and I'll link some of those down below, but feel free to check it all out on my website.